been a foster carer since uh, 85 and the placements that I've got now are children with severe disabilities. My husband was actually in care when, when he was a child and we kind of, we had our own children and, and my youngest reached the age of five and I decided that you know, that might be a way to go, and, you know, and after a long discussion with everybody involved, parents, children, and the wider, um, you know, and a lot of encouragement from my dad, we decided that we would give it a go. Setting out to look after children with disabilities wasn't the first thought. Um, again, we kind of just fell into it. It was, um, we actually had a child with Asperger's syndrome and it just kind of led on from there. And the highs are just the steps that they take. Just, you know, the whole package is, they're just, they're such a pleasure to care for. They really are because they give you far more than you could ever give them. They, they do. They they touch your heart like you couldn't believe. They they. I can't explain it. You would, you know, it, it's it's very difficult to explain. Uh, no, we didn't need an adapted house to be able to, you know, take children. The room, you know, depending on the type of disability, it just depends on on, you know, on kind of how much room you may or may not need. It, you know, people think that if you've got children with disabilities, then you need, you know, all this extra space because, you know, because they need this, that, and the other. It's not. It's not always the case. It's not. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Couldn't imagine doing anything else.